Hey, this is Steve with Espresso Tech. Today I want to go over the daily cleaning routine that you should perform on your espresso machine. This will help ensure that your machine performs at its best. So first we want to talk about the steam wands. This cleaning procedure needs to take place after every cappuccino or latte that you make. So basically what you want to do is make sure you purge the steam wand to blow any residual milk out and to make sure that the tip is clear. After that, you want to take a wet rag and you want to wipe down the wand. This has a Teflon piece so it makes it much easier, but if it was solid metal, it could stick very easily so it's important that you wipe this as soon as possible. So this takes place after every drink. The next step takes place on the brew pads. This should be done at least once a day, preferably at end of day when you're closing, but if you have multiple shifts, you should clean in between shifts because you can't really clean enough. So, what you want to do is either use a blind filter, which is just an insert that has no holes, and this just takes the place of the basket. You would pop out the basket and place this, or you can use the rubber disc, which I like just because it's simpler. The rubber disc goes into the double porta filter basket. You would then add your espresso cleaner. This is just one brand. There's several different brands. You can also get uh, this in pill form as well. But you're going to add about half a teaspoon. That's really all that it takes. So if you're using the proper amount, this should last for quite a while. So you're going to place the porta filter handle in just as if you were going to make a drink. Start the cycle. You're going to let that run for 10 seconds. And then stop. Start it again. So you're going to run five cycles of 10 seconds. So basically, it's only going to take them one minute per group head to do the cleaning. You would follow these steps for each additional group that you have, but if you were working with a one group machine, you're basically looking at a minute of your time at the end of day. This is not only cleaning the portion that you see in the, the screen, but also cleaning the valve which is inside the machine. It's the click that you hear. That's your valve opening and closing. If you don't do this every day, it can let the coffee oils dry and this could make the valve stick closed or open, which would give you a drip or no water at all. Okay, so after you do your five cycles of 10 seconds, you're gonna dump the cleaner and press and let the water run until it's clear. You then know all of the cleaner has been removed and you are now ready to go for the next morning. Occasionally, you would want to remove your drip tray just to make sure the coffee grounds have not built up inside the tray. This could cause your drain to clog, so I would recommend that at least once a week. But if you follow these three procedures, I think your machine should have a nice long life. Hope this helps. Have a great day.